at nursing homes and children's hospices. The ponies like to go around the nursing homes and visit people in their bedside that are unable to get up or meet them in the common rooms. We find it's quite therapeutic for them to have an animal next to them. Sometimes people open up more to an animal than they do to a person. So by having an animal there, you can find out a little bit about them because they feel quite comfortable. But also it's quite nice for them to stroke the animals, to groom them, we put ribbons in the mane and plait them and decorate them. So you can work on hand-eye coordination. And you can also get them out of their wheelchairs to walk with them or walk beside the wheelchair. There's lots of different things you can do. Care homes sometimes have a bit of a reputation as somewhere that you don't want to end up. It seems like with the animal therapy that these places are getting innovative. So I think it's really changed now and actually care homes are homes now, they're not an institute anymore. So how do the, the, the care homes, what do they think of it when you when you talk to the, the management there? We get a mixed, a mixed response. Sometimes when I approach a nursing home they're a little bit sceptical, they say you can't bring a horse inside. And I show them some pictures of what we do and normally you get a whole load of people following you around and they're all keen to see how this works. Hi Mum! We've got Twiggy here to see you today. There's quite a list of, of different benefits. From the idea of them just having the horse present and watching their friends, the other residents, interact and telling their family that they've had a pony visit. Normally the family don't believe them and they think they've gone a bit mad or something because they're on the second floor of a nursing home and they shouldn't have a pony at their bedside. We take a lot of photos to prove it. So Mr Kipling, your donkey, yep. what, would, what would his typical working week involve? His typical working week would normally involve one party or one booking, one nursing home booking. So on the day of his booking or his party, he'd be out in the field with the other animals and come in and get ready, get cleaned off, go and spend a penny and then on the van he'll go off for his visit. I try and do just one visit with them a week. I find that having grown up with horses, a lot of the generation that are in nursing homes used to have a family pony or they'd go to the seaside and do a donkey ride or something. So I think that it's quite nice to bring back the memory and even with dementia they might not speak to us at the time but later on they might realise a memory that might come out. I think that when you're born you either you do or you don't like animals and I've worked a lot with babies in nursery schools and through to dementia residents and they still have that in them. It doesn't matter if you can't remember your name or anything, you know that you like animals and you know that when that head is on your lap and you just have an instinct to stroke it and we've had so many moments where people might, I mean one chap recently he wouldn't even open his eyes to anybody, to anything, to his family, and we put the donkey's head over his lap in his, in his bed and he just began to stroke it, an action he didn't do with the pack dog that came to visit. So it's just maybe he had a horse, maybe he had a donkey, you don't know because he can't communicate, but that reaction happened. And I think that's something we need to keep doing and keep causing these encounters. I've learned to train my own horses over the years, we've been going for six years now, and they need to learn to stand still, because I can't teach them everything that they might encounter from a dementia resident throwing some tissues at them to a drinks trolley going past at home. So if I teach them to stand still and shut off, they're calm, they're relaxed and they're happy. How would you sum up what the animal therapy means to you and the people that you see with your animal therapy? I think that they get a great value from it. I think the people that we visit thoroughly enjoy it. They get a, an interaction in the day that sometimes it can be a bit quiet in a nursing home, so to have a pony come and visit, that can be quite positive for them. I think it's also nice for the staff. It changes their day for them as well. Kisses now.